Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I'm Gray, and today on our Leaf Green LP, we are gonna trek through good old Mount Moon. God, I hate that place. So anyway, haven't done any grinding or anything like that. Everyone's pretty much where they're at. I think going through here, um, everyone should level up uh, a decent amount. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to go through and do this as quick as possible and yet still fight the majority of the trainers and get the majority of items that are in here. You never know, like the one that's sitting right there, you know, you never know what's really gonna be what's gonna be really useful. I may just throw a repel on here in a minute. Um because I don't wanna see Zubats. And I don't think any of you guys wanna see those little little like it's like a mouth of fucking wings. It's not even a bat. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of sad. In fact, I've got some really compelling bat stories to tell you guys. Maybe sometime when I'm not, you know, rambling and shit like that and trying to do something. But you know, we'll we'll get to it at some point. Maybe if I'm if I'm feeling up to, you know, revealing everything to you guys. And if anyone gives a shit, which probably nobody gives a shit. So we're just gonna kind of forego that for now. Okay, you good? All right. Hey, Betty. What you doing? So, um, what you looking for? Did you did you see me down that way? Cause I was over there, and you didn't see me. Why? Why didn't you see me over there? It's because I'm white. It is, isn't it? You bastard. I got something for you. I got something for you, because you look like a bug trainer. I got something for you, fucker. Watch him not be a bug trainer. I've been wrong on pretty much everything. Not just suspicious, man. Oh, let me guess. Team Rocket. And it is a bug catcher. All right, Kent. Uh, my bird's going to eat your Weedle. Eat your Weedle. That just doesn't sound. It doesn't sound right, does it? I'm going to eat your Weedle. Oh, eat your Weedle. That sounds pretty fucked up, actually. That's yeah, just weird. Just weird. Too weird. Too awkward. Does anyone else feel awkward right now? No? Then you should. Because I do. And you always have to feel the same way I feel. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Really? Some tough ass Kakuna. I mean, he's gonna live a gust like that? Just hold that shit like it ain't nothing? Like, I'm hanging on. I'm gonna harden. I ain't gonna do nothing, but I'm gonna hang on. Oh, now I'm dead. Your wind was a little too much for me. Because I'm just a, I'm just a turd. Attached to a tree. Hmm, I wonder what you are. I'm gonna switch out to the crank because this guy needs some, this guy needs some levels. Well, these guys need some levels. Oh, well, your friends ain't coming, lady. Well, that just, you know, that's just not right. Why is she standing there like that? That's just a little, a little odd. No one else thinks so? It's just a little... Maybe, maybe it's just the fact that I'm older now and it's like, oh, shit. I know what she's trying to present. I'm sure, you know, when you're 10, 12 years old watching, playing this, watching this, watching this, playing this game, you're like, what the hell? She's just a little kid. Probably be good friends with her. Probably sit at the lunch table. Share friggin' string cheese or some shit. Awkward. Anyway. Let's see what's down on here. This is the one I think it is. I don't think I wanna be down here. I can do this, can't I? Oh, repel. Repel don't work no more. Uh, should we fight the guy? Should we fight the guy? I think it's just... No, it's not Thief that's over there. Oh boy, how much is this gonna really take out of us? Let's just, let's just go for it, see where we end up. We're Team Rocket, we're Pokemon gangsters. Like, how are you like a gangster with Pokemon? I mean, like, do you just have to have like a fucking Sandshrew and Grimer and shit like that? I mean, 
Because that's really what it is. It's like, oh, we're all gangsters and shit. And we all got the same Pokemon. We all just like, like, oh, we all like the same shit. It's like we can get together and raise hell. It's like a fucking, like, biker gang. Shit. Oh, goddamn. How fast that stand true? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, took that though. That ain't good enough. What else you got? Please tell me you have more sand trees. That'd be great. No, you got a ratata. Of course you got a ratata. But it's not top percentage ratica. Ratata. I almost said ratica. Ratica, gatica, whatever the fuck I'm saying. I don't fucking know. I just, I just ramble. And that's, that brings me to a good point. I'm gonna talk about it. You ever notice, like, when you watch LPRs and stuff like that, and they always complain about how their first, their first LPs, they all sucked ass and all that crap. You know, there's, there's a good reason for that, because when you start doing LPs, I don't know if you notice this, I say that a lot, I say a lot of things repetitively, in case you haven't noticed. See what I did there? Anyway. A lot of LPRs will say the same same shit about their old videos. They're not like, oh, they were crap back in the day, and oh, I didn't know what I was doing, and you know, they're all so terrible. My commentary was crap. Yeah, the reason is because 90% of the developers talk about current shit, you know, shit that's like in the comments section and stuff. And then those first few LPs, they never really have, you know, anyone, you know, or they put their first LP up, you know, and they don't have any anything to talk about any topics, you know, because usually in, in Comment, er, comment sections and shit like that. You know, people are asking questions, saying shit, saying, oh, you missed this, oh, you did that, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. And and, and it gives the LP or something to, to bullshit about throughout the whole course of the game. I really don't like to do that. Fucking fine. That's one Pokemon that I really should use, but I'm not going to because it's just, it's just crap. I don't like it at all. But anyway. Yeah, I don't think our LP here has been so bad. I've talked a lot more than I usually talk. Yeah, it, yeah, I'm actually a pretty quiet person, which I'm sure you can tell. But you know, you got, you got to talk about something when you ain't got anyone else to to talk to or or anything else to talk about. When your LP channel just starts, you just gotta gotta talk shit the whole time and and expect people to enjoy it enough to fucking stick around. Friggin' run, get the hell out of this motherfucker. Alright, there should be uh, some other bug catcher over here. We're gonna kick his ass real quick. This Mankey isn't working out too bad right now. He, he might be, he might be, he might be a halfway decent sweeper th throughout most of this game. Once again, it's been a long time since I played, so I don't, I don't really remember all the pitfalls that we're gonna have to friggin' deal with here later. You know, or if it's attacking this gen, which is yeah, technically third gen. In case anyone didn't realize that, that leaf green is gen three. Or, but like I said, we're just doing the the uh, oh fuck, what are they called? The regions in chronological order. Just because this looks a hell of a lot better than gen one, and it's not fucking broken. Yeah. Which brings me to another point. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm a Gen 1er. I played Pokemon when it first came out. But I consider myself as a person who happened to have a level head on their shoulders. And I willingly admit that, yep, Gen 1 was broken as fuck when it came to, like, special attack and all that shit. Had a lot of problems. But, truth be told, you know, that, not necessarily that game, but those Pokemon... Especially their current incarnations, you know, since we've gotten the 3D, uh, yeah, the 3D and all the, all the new bells and whistles and shit we got, you know, in, in Gen 6 and shit now to make all our Pokemon look all spiffy and the way TMs are, which I absolutely love. I did not like Gen 5 until I realized that the TMs were reusable. I was like, holy shit, that's awesome. But anyway, I mean, I think that's, that's done nothing but, but help Pokemon over the years is... You know, all the new shit, which, like I said, all the old stuff, you know, the old Pokemon are what I'm, I'm more attached to than, you know, the, that game specifically. 
Hence why, you know, I will still roll, I still rolled a friggin' Pidgey when I, I, I started Gen 6. I was like, fuck it. I mean, I remember this guy way back frickin', you know, god, what was it, what, almost, almost fucking 20 years ago now. I mean, it's what, about 15, 16 years ago when I first played this, probably. Pidgeotto over here. What you never understood. How the hell Pidgeotto's name is longer and then it just drops off the Pidgeot. Like, that to me was like an evolutionary or, or fuck, what's the term? Whatever, whatever nice little scientific term they have for, for names and all that shit. That's like a little anomaly how his, his name goes from Pidgey to Pidgeotto to Pidgeot. Like, why would you drop that? I would, I would assume it makes more phonetical sense to go Pidgey, Pidgeot, Pidgeotto. Right? Or, or am I just out of my fucking mind? Magnemite. I fucking love Magnemite. Dude, when that thing... I, I didn't like it. I mean, I'm not gonna say I didn't like it. I, I liked it. It was okay. It was cool. But then, then Gen 4 happened, and Magnezone became a thing, and holy shit. It looks like a fucking spaceship. It looks like a fucking flying saucer. So, immediately when I saw it, I'm like, oh, fucking shit. Magnemite. Probably my favorite electric type of all time, just because it looks like a fucking looks like a fit fucking flying saucer. It's, it's just the shit. I'm you know lost for words when I talk about that thing. It's just cool as fucking hell, and I have a huge thing for aliens and all that shit. Hence the name Gray. More so, it kind of jives with you know the whole Pokemon thing and shit. You know the colors and the names and the red and all that shit. And blue and gay ass Gary. I don't like Gary. Gary's a little punk ass bitch. But anyway. Alright, we have more shit. I'm gonna say we have more shit off to the right. Don't need no shit from you, son. I need to just go put a repel on because I just remember that I have those. See what I mean? Bad memory. It's like all oh, this shit that's happening right now, it's like in one ear, out the other. Oh, an escape rope. That might come in handy later. Except that'll take us back to the last place. Uh, do I want to fight this guy? All right, you're not a douche. Good for you. You, yeah, let's fight you, lady. It's bigger in here than I thought. That's what she said. And also, that brings me to another point. You better be ready. You best be ready for some office quotes because I watch that shit religiously. Like seriously, between the X Files and and the Office, those are two shows that are always running at my house. I'm always watching them at some point or another. So you'll probably see some good old X-Files references here before long in my Pokemon because it usually happens and I say that's what she said a lot. I don't even care for Michael Scott though. He's kind of a prick. Oh, fuck him. Bellsprout. Oh god. This thing... Uh, like, what the hell is that? It's like... I don't know. It it's just it's one of those somewhat realistic Pokemon designs that uh, just look terrible. I'm not gonna be able to use Pidgey here before long. It's gonna get a little, you know, a little, get a little, get a little shitty with me. Right, this should be this should be Thief, right? Yeah. Wait. Yes. So, uh, what you looking at there, guy? Wow, look at that. The vast decides to fucking pop up. You know what? You go. You go to hell. Pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't wanna. I just wanted to talk to you. Maybe do a little reach around. I don't know. Say hi. Oh, shit. 
Who should we go with here? You know what? There we go. Ah, oh, supersonic. I hate confusion, by the way. That. Oh, I hate that move so much. Anything that makes makes you confused, it's fucking annoying as hell. Such bullshit. God damn those little rubber duckies. Fuck them. I got something for you, Ekans. I got something for you. I got something for you. Oh, Intimidate. Look at you. Too bad I don't really use that shit much. I just use Leech Seed and I set up. So I need some experience on my Bulbasaur. It's, it's getting a little... It's getting a little left behind there. We can't have that. We're gonna need him for this gym coming up. I actually might have to go do some some uh some grinding here before we go fight Misty. Oh shit. Back wasn't gonna work too much on you. But we get the leaf seed in so it's gonna take a while, but we're good. We're good. We're right where we wanna be. Let's see this size get like some great he's just going off with that leaf shit. Come on dude. Sit down, sit down. Come on. Fucking purple turd here. I don't wanna lie though, I like Ekans. Ekans is kinda cute. I get pet snakes, so, you know. Kinda got a soft spot for Ekans. For sure, more. More, uh. More snake. Ooh, shit. Fuck your poison sting. Some more, uh. Snake like Pokemon. I was pretty excited when I saw Snivy, except the fact that I had a absolute bitch of a time using him in Gen 5. I was like. Kind of turned me off. I had the same thing happen to me with like Trico. Typically, I use I use the um, the grass starters. I, I don't know why. I mean, obviously, I mean it's got to have to do have, got to have something to do with with good old uh, Mobile here because he's he's a shit and you know I like Mobile Sword. Why did I fucking do that? Let's switch. Go out there and eat that guy's Pokemon. Is that what you do? Oh wait, is this what I think it is? I hope it is. I hope you're gonna bug catch him. Uh, I just made a fatal mistake. Oh shit, we're done. Youngster Josh. Youngster Josh. That's an interesting name. Alright, come on, get on out there. Alright, Granker. Quick attack you. Good thing we bought a shit ton of potions. Before, before I came out here, I know, I, I don't remember if I fucking said that. I, I did that, by the way. I bought a bunch of potions and some poison heals, because, you know, we're going to be fighting Team Rocket, and they got all these Zubats, and, and uh, Grimers, and Coughings, and shit like that. So I'm just preparing for the worst, and I might have to bump a potion in him before this Raditzer goes down here. I'm not liking that at all. Oh, God. Oh, shit, Zubat. Zubat just like, the thing I hate the most about Zubat, I think, is it always, because of its typing and where you find it, and obviously, the, you know, depending on what Pokemon you have, unless you got a rock or electric or whatever, you know, you don't really have much to combat it with. And, you know, when you choose Bulbasaur or any other, you know, plant type, like I usually do, you know, it's, it's an issue. And you don't find... You don't find electric types all that early in the game. You know, obviously, I mean, you could have if you really wanted to with this one, then get a little fucking Pikachu and shit. This guy, um, I'm gonna fucking battle him anyway, because I want to. Yeah, I know this is gonna be a long episode, and I apologize for that. Come on, yeah, just take the potion. Don't need your little cute animation. And I apologize for, for making this such a long episode, but it's something that we gotta do, and, you know, this is part of the game. You know, obviously the commentary, like I said, it's gonna be a lot better. Ah, uh, I'm just a kid. Once again, why is some fat creepy guy hanging out in the cave, and why is this kid going in there? Man, he face looks fucked up. Alright, that's... I probably should have loved with Mokana here. Like I was saying, 
you know, not much to really go on with the terrible commentary. Hopefully it gets better. Yada yada yada, you know how, you know how it goes. Because I highly doubt I'm anyone's first LP that they've ever watched. Because that would just be awkward. Wouldn't it? For each other's first. Oh my god, oh my god! No, that's, that's just weird. We're gonna stop that right now. Ah, Gia, dude, you're so cute. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, shit, Onyx. No, we're just, we'll just stay out. Oh, shit. The all-powerful Vine Whip here is fucking... making corpses all over the damn place. Hacker Marcos! Marcos! There you go, dude. Boom. We are going the right way, by the way. In case you didn't know. Okay, I gotta go all the way up to that back corner of that little ladder as I just did the other ones for, you know, people who are actually hoping to get some insight out of this thing and some actual walkthrough shit and, you know, how to get through Mount Moon, shit like that. You know, but I'm sure no one's watching this for that exact reason, but, you know. For all intents and purposes, I need another repel. Get out. Just get out. I ain't got time for you. Your whack ass ears and your purple wings and shit. You can probably hear that in the background. That's a dog playing with a toy. I have a pretty big dog. A Newfoundland. And hopefully she doesn't make too much more noise. Uh, oh. You. We have to fight you because that's how I roll. Watch, you know, I love how you know I switch out, switch out to a, a Pokemon, thinking, oh, he's probably gonna leave with this, and this Pidgey will be a good one or Pidgeotto. See, yeah, exactly, Pidgeotto will be a good one to leave with. Nope, it's normal type that I could have just stayed in with with my Granker over here and just fucked the shit up. Now I gotta take a Hyper Fang. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, that's, that's no, no boy at all. I don't think he's gonna, oh shit, yeah, I think we're gonna, yeah, take that. Would be nice right now is another non-normal so that I can switch to something else and you can, oh, perfect. Wonderful, that's helpful, I don't have to waste the move. That's something that irritates me too, I hate having to waste the move on heals and shit like that. If you can get a clean switch in like, like we just had here. Switches into something, you can just go out there and counter it right away. Oh, fucking run the lower line up, so shit, that might be bad. You know, being able to switch into something like that is always good. That way we don't have to waste a turn, waste a heal. Because, you know, you always run that risk of, oh, I'm just going to pump a potion into him, and then, you know, he'll just whoop your ass anyway. So, like, well, fuck, what did I do that for? Just kick the shit out of my Pokemon regardless of what I do. Alright, Granker's all good to go. Let's see what we got. I know we got another... Should have... Fuck, I think I went the wrong way, didn't I? Or do you have to go all the way around? Fuck. I don't remember. And I forgot the damn rebel, didn't I? See what I mean? God damn rebels. They're like a like a LPR's best friend, I swear to God. It's the most useful item in any game. Yeah, it's this way. We're going the right way. All right. I remember. My murmur is coming back. My ram has been... Oh, shit. This guy. Okay. I don't really want to deal with this guy. Of course, now they do this. Watch him leave with a zoo bat. Oh, Pokemon and riches. And, oh, we're going to make lots of money and shit. It's like a fucking Pokemon puppy mill or some shit. See? Fucking rat. Oh wait, no, we did leave with Granger. Ha ha! That would be Georgia moving around in the background. Which I'm sure you can hear because she's fucking clanging around and shit. There we go, Zubat. Let's move this Stella. You can go in there and hopefully not get wrecked and rocked and 
not level up too fast so that you stop listening to me because that's bad. That's bad. That actually was one of the fears that I had when I played through Gen 6 the first time because there's such a long, long layoff between Gen or Gen. Your first gem and your second gem. You, you, I mean, you gotta go forever. And my Pokemon were getting up to like level 30 and shit. I'm like, fuck. Am I ever gonna get to this gym? I started trying to skip and skimp through everything as much as I could, and then I finally realized where the gym was. Oh, I was so happy. Your shit levels fast in that game if you haven't played Gen 6. Holy shit. Which, by now, who hasn't, right? Okay, this guy. You've got. You good sir have a lot of Georgia, chill. Sit. Oh no. Alright. Let's fight this guy. Uh both mine except for the fact where I kick your ass and you give me one. Yep, and the dog is going ham right now on her toy. That's just wonderful. Oh, yep, there he goes. There he goes. We're gonna set the field with this guy and just leech see the shit out of everything. Cause that's fuck you and pound. God damn. God damn. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Now you're gonna use Harden. Of course you are. You won't. Okay. Come on. Got it. Disabled. You prick. You prick. That's a move I've never fucking used. I mean, I'm sure it's useful as shit. The only way I would ever see myself using that is like on a. Uh, yeah, whatever you want to call it, like on a legendary or some shit, it uses some badass, you know, sacred sword or sacred fire or whatever the fuck it is, and yeah, sacred sword isn't, isn't legendary, well, I don't know, is there a legendary with sacred sword? Ooh, poison powder, yeah, let's get rid of the growl for the poison powder. Alright. Sleep powder? No thanks. I don't like sleep powder. Shit never fucking works. At least the poison doesn't just go away. Like, I never understood why you would opt for sleep over your other fucking thing. Over over poison, because you get poison and, and, and it never goes away, where they can just wake the fuck up. I mean, I understand if you're trying to set up for Dream Eater and shit like that. I mean, that makes sense, but still, it's like, why, why would you... Why would I try and put your ass to sleep if I can just poison you instead? So when it comes down to catching Pokemon, it really doesn't make much of a difference. Alright. Coughing. Good old coughing. Oh, what to do with coughing. You know what? I'm gonna just I'm just gonna sit on him with with Bulbasaur here. Yeah, we're just gonna reach seed and hope this all fucking smoke. Oh, thank God! I don't need to be poisoned and shit now. <laughs> this is the last one of these guys, so we're just gonna go nuts with the Vine Whip. Well, it's probably gonna come back to bite us in the ass a little bit, because after this, we got, still got Route 4 and shit. But, fuck. But yeah, fuck, we'll try and save one, see if we can run attack. See? And that again is why I love shit like Leech Seed. Because you can just sit here, eat them up. Throw a few tackles at him. Obviously, it doesn't work as well if you don't have shit like tackle. But 
There we go. Fucking Miguel. Alright, what one should we take? I'm gonna take Helix Fossil, because no one uses Omanite. But me! Really doesn't really matter much which one, because both of the types are, are the same, and they both have the same fucking weaknesses. We're just gonna use that, because I like using Omanite right now. That repels effect war off. Watch me. Oh, an antidote. That's nice. Are you running anything? Alright. Oh, look at that. It's daytime shit. Alright. That's it for this episode. Sorry again for it being so long. If you like this video, obviously you know what to do because you're on YouTube and you know what's going on and shit. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm out. Remember, pants are optional. <laughs>